sitting at home. Looking for a video game. Guess you can call us video bros. Metroids. Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. I was the best candidate for the job. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. What horrors await me within the depths of their home world? All right, guys, welcome back to Video Bros. Good intro, by the way. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I just kind of improvised with that one. Did is it say um, stop capture? If yes, it means it's still recording, obviously. It is. All right, good. So then that did it, what your suggestion was. I knew it, because like, every time when you started the game, I guess because you went full screen on a different app, it did that. Oh, you know, that would make sense. Yeah, Jeff's suggestion, people, was to just start the capture after I boot the game up instead of the other way around like we always do. All right, so... Then gonna, again, I've never gonna, had the problem with a console game, but, you know. Yeah, but that's different, but anyway. Yeah. Um, so, we, right now, we are playing the game Metroid, another Metroid 2 remake. This AM2R is another way of saying it, so AKA AM2R. Um, this game came out when, Brandon? Um, I believe you told me it came out, like, August 8th is when it was fully released as a full game to download, but it's been in development for a decade, and since then there was just demos and updates for demos and shit of not a full game, just obviously betas and shit, but now it's, uh, fully done. Yes, and now, since that game's coming out... It's been out for a couple of days after after the game has been released, but of course, with any good fan fan remake or fan creation game that uses Nintendo's property in any way whatsoever, it gets shut down, just like this game has. And what we were talking about in in, in the previous recording, because yeah, we have for, did another attempt at recording this, and my audio, my um. Roxio program decided to fuck everything up. Yep. So, um, as I was saying last when we recorded for the first time, which didn't work, um, this game has been shut down by Nintendo's lawyers. They've gotten multiple cease and desist orders and takedown notices, and this has been a, a big problem with Nintendo lately. Especially, and I didn't mention this in the other video, but I'm going, I mean, the other recording, what I'm going to right now. In like the first attempt? Yes. Um, this also goes on with their stupid nonsense um, that they've been shutting down, not shutting down, but uh, copywriting all recordings and whatnot from their games on YouTube, because it's the same thing. They, Nintendo stifles creativity to the max. Well, also with games, they think people are pirating their games and stealing footage. Yeah, I know. They think like, everyone's, like, yeah. stepping on their foot. They don't. Like, they have no clue how the YouTube system yeah, works. Yeah, like, like, in the last recording I said, Nintendo doesn't, doesn't like fan creations that go on full-scale computer programs like this does. Hold that thought. The Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of several nuclei within its green memory has left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. A plated exoskeleton partially covers it. The or this organism emerges from the molting of its horrible form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full length and strength. Alright. Sorry. So, as I was saying, um, Nintendo definitely stifled creativity with fan remake they don't or fan creation games because they don't like anything to do with fan games whatsoever except which doesn't make any sense though they don't care about ROMs being hacked or whatever like I don't know what I don't know if they actually ever shut down a ROM before though but I don't I haven't heard anything of that but me neither what the hell but um 
This massive uh, cave system is located between two tectonic plates, largely flooded by an extremely dense and caustic substance to similar magma. A recent earthquake has altered the cave layout and its hazardous substance has drained the lower levels. The cause of the earthquake is unknown. Initial orbital scan of SR-388 detected no stability within this region. Okay, Sorry. so as I was saying, though, Sega, like, there's a company out there, Sega, they don't um, what do you call it? They don't stifle creativity whatsoever. They don't give a 100% crap. They don't give a fuck about anyone making a fan remake game. Because I've actually seen games that I want brand... I actually, there's one game I want brand to test, though. What? Um, that I don't know how good of a game it is, but I store it online and I, on YouTube. If I can find it, I'll let them know. But it's supposed to be a... It's a fan-made Sonic game. Not a ROM, but it's an actual... Full 3D game. What? With good graphics though, and it's apparently supposed to be um, it's supposed to have the um features and stuff from Sonic Heroes and Sonic Adventure. Mm, which one? Any of them. They all. Okay, I'm in. It's called Sonic World, but like I said, people have made all these fan like games like this. Also. Sonic Dream Collection. That is a fan-made game from the Sonic series. And Sega has not said a goddamn word about that game. Is that the game with that freaky, disturbing shit you can do with Sonic? Yes. Like I said, Sega does not care anything about any... Or that Sonic creepypasta game called Sonic.exe. Something like that. Where Sonic just fucking kills you. He, like, kills everyone, including Robotnik, and Knuckles, Tails, Amy, just kills everyone. How do you like those jumping skills? Pretty good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't understand, and, like, as I said, we're not going to, in, uh, the first time to recording this, we aren't going to put in links to download this game or Pokemon Uranium in this video. People, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to find those on your own. Yeah. Because otherwise Nintendo will shut these video, this, uh, this video down for doing that. I say yeah. these videos because we're going to do two recordings for this and then Pokemon Uranium and put them in one video together. Yeah, so... But, um, um, but yeah, so uh, that's the sad truth of that fact. Um, but yeah... Um, as I said before, Capcom found out about someone that did, like, a fan-made game where, like, they crossed over Mega Man with Street Fighter, which, that sounds like a dream come true for Capcom fans, by the way. Um, and, as I said, do you remember what I told you, how Capcom reacted? Yes. They were humbled by it, which Nintendo should be. And they embraced that shit and posted all over social media for people to play that game and gave it a lot of publicity. They were like, no, we love that idea. Like, no, we're going to let you do what you're doing. Like, a lot of companies are on board with companies making fan games of their own IPs, except Nintendo. Well, there's one and other company. One, there's what? one other company that doesn't like fan creations. Konami? Yeah. The Nintendo and Konami are like the only companies that are like that because they're very ignorant and have no clue about how these things work, and that's why. Well, also Konami's a legit what I would call an evil cor uh, evil company. They're very evil and like just corporate bullshit. I know, but so there's more to Konami why they wouldn't than rather than why Nintendo wouldn't. Yeah, but. This whole video, basically talking here to say, fuck you, Nintendo. Stop stifling creation. Stop shutting down the fan games, because guess what? No one who is making any games is profiting off of anything you're doing. So shut the fuck up. Let them do what they want to do. Not hurting you. In fact, they're helping you because of the fact that, say if no one... Free advertising. Free advertising. Yes. Plus... If say if no one no one cared to play for Pokemon, because there are some people out there who don't care for Pokemon, but they were like, you know what, Pokemon Uranium is a different the different Pokemon game, not something that Nintendo didn't make. Maybe this would be different. And Pokemon Uranium has inspiration from the Pokemon series plus the Mother series. So why the fuck not play that game? 
Like, it's not hurting you in any way. It's not stopping them from playing any any of your games. Because maybe, maybe they can be like, hey, I like Pokemon Uranium, or I like Metroid now because I saw this. This is a fun fucking game. Maybe I don't now- even... I don't even know if um, Uranium is inspired by the mother games, but it really wouldn't surprise me because of a lot of like dialogue in the game, which is something you would see in Mother, and it's just really funny to see in that game. Like a character saying he drank his own pee, like that's something you would see someone say in Mother. Yes. Or like Earthbound or something. But I do get where you're coming from with that. Also, plus, Sega hired a guy that made a fan-made HD ports of Sonic's 1 and 2. Oh, no, he, and he didn't make the... Those aren't, those aren't fan-made. Those are all from the ten, from Sega themselves. Really? Because everyone told me... Like, everywhere I saw, like, people were saying those were made by a f- team of, like, a fan is who made those. Well, yeah, but they they were all hired by, by Sega, though. Like, they weren't... Like, See, that's the thing where I'm trying to get to. Though. No, but, Sega... but, I'm, but, but I'm saying though, Sega, like he, but like, like you know how, like, say for for instance or another, like you have you have Nintendo and you have the the Star Fox series, right? Yeah. Like they didn't hire, like they had their own team making Star Fox, but then they hired Platinum Games to help them with Star Fox Zero. So what I'm saying is they hire other developers to help them with their the game that they want to make, and they can't do it or they don't. They, or they know that they can do a better job of it somewhat. They're not, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's they, not... They're, that's not like a fan team, though. They hi- actually hired developers that were actually knowing what they were doing to do this. By the way, you like how anything I get to come out of the enemy, like missiles and health, comes drawing towards me if I hold the, B, the button to charge it? Yes. That is from Metroid Prime. You remember how that shit would happen? Yes. I love that they implemented some stuff from games other than just uh, Zero Mission in this game and of the original of uh, Metroid 2. Like, it's like, no, they combined a bunch of elements from a bunch of different Metroid games. So this isn't just a remake, they included a bunch of new mechanics and stuff from other games. Like, look, look, look closely. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. But, um... So, Nintendo, stop your bullshit. Just let people you know do what? what they want to do because it's not like it's hurting you in any way. Um, you know, may or you're just afraid. You're just afraid that you can't live up to your own potential and that people are doing better things than you are. You know what Alpha Mega Sin said in his video where he talked about both uranium and also about uh, M2 Arbinja down, and he brought up a very really good point about it. He was saying like, um. He's like, I'm not I'm going to defend a company that, like, I love. Like, I'm not going to defend a company that I support when they're doing stupid shit like this. Like, yeah, I, I love the company, but if they do stupid shit, they do stupid shit. I'm not going to support that. I'm not well, going to defend them for doing something stupid. And other people were saying it's because if they don't protect their IPs constantly, they lose them or something. I don't know how that makes sense, but apparently they lose the, uh, the rights to their IPs of their own games if they don't defend them from shit like with fan games and whatnot. I know. Which, um, that's still stupid, but still. Going going back to my original point in this video, that this, this game got shut down. Um, like a few days later. Yeah. It hasn't happened yet to the next game that we're going to play, Pokemon Uranium, but... There's no, it, doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that it, that it, could, that it could happen, and it would happen, so well, I suggest... Well, you know what? It's interesting you bring that up, and sorry to cut you off, but, like, they didn't get shut down for Pokemon Uranium at all, but someone did come forward and say, yeah, you should shut this down. Yeah, I know. Which <laughs> is kind of weird, because I saw online that there is going to be updates still for Pokemon Uranium. No, there, because, is, there is, but what I'm saying... Because there's going to be the last four legendaries that aren't available yet that they're going to add in the game. Because currently available, there's only five legendaries to get. So in total, there's nine, but there's four left that they didn't add yet. And... There's a ton of side missions and side gyms and shit to do that are already in the game, but I'm assuming they're probably going to add more, which uh, wouldn't surprise me. Along with adding, like, those new legendaries. 
Yes, but um, I wouldn't. One of them's part fire and water type. It wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me though that that game would get shut down by Nintendo. So what I'm saying is, go check out that game, download it while you can, get all the updates as as they come out, when they come out, if they come out, because you never know. This could be the last time you ever see Pokemon Uranium out with the la with the latest update that's out right now. And also, we're gonna show off the trailer for Mother Four, which is a fan made game that Nintendo won't ever make because they they don't really give a shit about the Mother games. Not as much though, but you 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 still don't know. Like I said, it's the anniversary of Mother this year. They were there were plenty of rumors out there saying that Nintendo was gonna release Mother. Three on the virtual console, and I and I don't see why they wouldn't. So if they do, then that's a sign that the game Mother Four can be shut down immediately when it comes out. So that's what I'm really scared of. But let's continue it in the next video. This is like a little over 16 minutes, so I'm gonna stop the recording for this right now. All right, so we'll see you in the next part, and I'll keep talking about what I needed to talk about. Yep, let's talk to you guys in a few seconds. So we are playing Pokemon Uranium. Um. You, I love that there's an option to have more than one save file, which Pokemon games normally don't do at all. Um, it's a nice touch that they added, though. So if you have a friend or a sibling who wants to play the game, too, and you don't want them over in your file, there you go. Nuzlocke mode? No, because I have a problem with the regular challenge for this game. Um, yes. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. I can't see you, though. It's a Professor Ogre and a different professor. Different. Thing. Oh, he hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bambo. Eh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. Okay. You want to be that lazy about it? Because you're a fucking lazy shit. <laughs> you're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? No. No, that I'm just gonna fuck shit up. The Pokemon's adorable, by the way. His name is Outen, which is, is he's like a kitten owl thing. I, I don't know. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. Unlike you, you stupid piece of shit. Intelligence... I mean, oh, sorry. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers, such as yourself. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, uh, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here... Oh, we have to fill out an application? What is this? I didn't know there'd be a test. I didn't study! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, well, okay. Um, I'm confused why you get to choose three different characters. This you do need a keyboard for. What should we um, name him? Um, let me see. Let me see. Yes. Feces, are you ready? Your journey, your story, is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Oh, I just had an idea, but we can't go back now and change your name. Wait a second, is Roxio and that shit even open, or did you minimize them? No, they're open. I don't see TeamViewer even on my fucking... I'm not on your PC. I'm on your... I Wait. Mean... Wait, but I don't see... I don't see, um... Audacity or anything on here. Opened. On your, on your PC? Yeah. It's there. I'm looking at it right now. Why aren't they showing on my thing, then? I don't know. I see it, though. It's still recording. Okay. I only full screen the the the, the game. All right. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Cause you're looking at it from your you're looking at your laptop. You know that, right? 
Yeah, I know, but I was looking at my PC also. Oh. Ten years ago, Feces family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked at demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young feces. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucia worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought on a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It oh can't boy. be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... The screen was shaking, so you know that's not good. Not at all. This, this must be a breach in a reactor. At this temperature in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now! Now! Lucille, you have- GET THE FUCK OUT! Oh, can't you put that in there? Get the fuck yes. out. Yes. I think I might have that. Lucille! That music- this music playing is in the wild Pokemon encounter in red and blue. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. Apparently, radiation, I can't hear it, but I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed and he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Feces was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitown applied, Feces and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Feces' journey began. Feces, come downstairs. You are late. That's terrible that you name your child feces. Yeah, and before there <laughs> young were things, feces. Yeah, I was going to say it's so many times the young feces. So just fresh feces. Feces, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but recycle voices, see my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that it could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this, you and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cranberries, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Why'd you say Cranberries? Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. The running shoes. Alright, so these are very important. Alright, so you can just hold Z or whatever you said as a run button. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old bitch. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again if you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. So now I can actually run. You remember you get these like towards the beginning in Ruby and Sapphire. After you um like get your first Pokemon and stuff. I feel like they should make a game 
that has like Mother, Pokemon, and Zelda all in one. Oh my god, I would love that. I feel like that would be like the cre- the weirdest game I've ever played. Because you have the hilariousness of Mother, the combat of Zelda, and then the RPG of Pokemon. Oh my god, dude, I would I would absolutely fucking love if someone made that. Someone make that, please. Even if it's a fan game, make it. Um, hey, wait up. Oh, it's your rival? Yeah, he's some little punky kid. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, feces. <laughs> the two Pokemon up here looked like they were having a, a little moment. I've never seen oh. Pokemon like that out in the wild like that, though. Oh, yeah, they started doing that in, like, Gen 1 and 2 a little bit, like... They well, I know, in, 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 in the houses they did, but not outside... Sometimes they did in Gen 2, and in Gen 3 is when they actually started doing that more. Hey, if it isn't Feces and uh, your friend Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo, you're just in time, you little shit. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work in field re- research assistance at Bamboo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both have to take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Was oh, it a test for this now? Test? I didn't study! <laughs> I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. <laughs> now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to, to work well with together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Pfft, no kidding, I agree with this kid. Sheesh, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Well, not sure if you meant me or Theo. We are talking about Theo? <laughs> when he said that, alright. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aides. Now. Feces, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Yes. Alright, so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? So, depending on what color-coded answers you choose, you'll get a certain starter responding to those. Okay, so I, after this, though, we're going to end it. After this test, we get our first Pokemon. All right. Well, I want to. I'll do a little something first. Because we um, have, to, like I said, we didn't want to make it that long. I know. Um. So, seeing as I have chosen Raptorch, the fire one, in my actual off-show file, my PC, I'm gonna choose the next best one to me. Uh, throw a Pokeball at it. No, you attack it right away, and then and then you throw a Pokeball at it. You'll see why I'm choosing the blue answers. All right, what's the time? TMA. So what if I'll you pick you one? Answers. What if you pick red, blue, red, green, blue, then red, green, blue, then red, green, blue? I'm not sure. Infros. You should do that is it, though. Is see it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. No, this is your final question. Um, making new friends. All right, ain't nobody gonna stand in my way. Then I get dig your spear, kid. Well, that's a free, free app to trainer after two test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Feces, you seem to be a trainer that's capable of many different strategies. You're preferable. Prefer to adapt to overcome challenges in your path. Your philosophy is probably just to go with the flow. Your calm, rational approach to come to aid you in the future for a balanced trainer like you. Elatux is the best pick. I really like that. You there's not there's no like um what do you call it? The game didn't glitch out by the way. That's how the game was. I know, but I like it how you don't what do you call it? You don't have to choose your Pokemon, so it's not like. Like, you choose the wrong Pokemon or whatever. Not that you do choose the wrong Pokemon in any game. But, like, you get a test. It's based entirely on, like, how you think you would handle in a field. Yeah. And this Pokemon I chose is a dual water and electric type. And no matter what Pokemon you choose... Wouldn't it kill itself, then? 
Mm, that's a good question. Your the, impulsive uh, impatient a care will see about your own desires. Your impulsive impatience. No, but wouldn't it? Is it the same way where it doesn't matter what he says? It's just that, like, whatever Pokemon you get, he gets the opposite one to beat you always? Yes, but in this game, they actually don't go that route. They don't? In this, no, in this game, your rival chooses the whatever starter you choose. He chooses the one that's weaker than yours. I don't know why, but he does. Because he's a stupid punk kid. Aren't you, you little punk? Feces, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. I just real. I was just don't noticing that. Like every Pokemon game, no matter even this one though, you battle right when you get the Pokemon. Like what the fuck is that shit? Yeah, every every like, game. Like you're just gonna like right fucking away. destroy your grandfather's hard working, hard work, hard research and work for no reason. You know what's weird? Um. The second gym games, you don't battle right away when you get your start. You battle when you drop off that thing for the professor first, and then on the way back, you get a call saying the lab was raided and that the person's still a Pokemon. That's and then, right, because I remember that from the anime also. They, you couldn't do that until afterwards. Yeah, and then after on your way back is when you fight that trainer that stole the Pokemon, and it's always a starter that's stronger than yours. But but how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never... I lose. Uh, uh, while while Luigi sounds? Uh, sniff. Wah! Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Oh, thank you. That was nice of you. I, I wanted to be an un unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and feces, there's has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. N no way, I want to do over. How come feces gets the better starter? Wah! This isn't fair. I am going home. Yeah, go home, you little emo punk. Yeah, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. No, it is not. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, feces. <laughs> so speaking of anime, you know what I started watching? I'll at least show, um, learn how to catch Pokemon first, which is going to be in a second, and then we'll end it. Yeah. I'll cut you know some what? parts out anyway with naming our character, because that went on for too long. Yeah. So, when I said about the Pokemon anime before, and speaking of anime, you know what I started watching? What? And I couldn't stop laughing the minute I watched it. Oh, God. I was watching bo 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 People in my class in high school and middle school made fun of me for watching this show. And Dude, they that said show, Naruto was better. I don't know what drunk they were on when they made that show. I didn't like Naruto when I was little. I never really was into it, but like, I didn't Naruto's, hate it. Just... Naruto's great, but I, I watched some of it on Netflix. Never like, like finished my it. My cousins I... always tell me to watch it, and anytime as a kid when I would see it on, I'm just like, alright, what else is on? No, but like, Bo Bo if you haven't watched Bo 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 Bo, I, I suggest you stop doing years. what you're doing right now. If you're watching this video of us playing this game, I don't care if we lose view because of this. You have to watch Bo 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 Bo, Bo somehow. It's probably on Kiss Anime or something. Yeah, that's where I, I'm watching it. But, like, how the hell do you go from one minute to, to from a guy... Who can kill people and like destroy them with his nostril hair to a minute finding out that there's actually little people inside of his in, inside of his body and then coming out out of nowhere to the third episode where he's trying to figure out what he what a hamburger feels like <laughs> I need to rewatch a show it's been way too long dude the minute I saw I, the, the, the episode episode two where I found out who Don patch was I was like, what the fuck? He fucking screamed at people for churros. <laughs> Dude, 
You have no idea. I couldn't stop laughing at that. Like we're it's gonna, gonna be about my churro. Please have my churro. Eat the fucking churro. Ah! <laughs> People always made fun of me for that, and I'm like, in I school, don't care. Like, that show is. I'm like, I don't. Like, I want that show like to be brought back somehow. But you know what? I never understood them. I, don't I was know. like, I was like, Naruto sucks, and people would be like, well, it's better than Bo 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 Bo. Dude. And I'm like, no, shut the fuck up. And in, in a way, it, in a way, Naruto is better, but Naruto's not hilarious like Bo 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 is. Naruto seems like it's a little more serious. Bo 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 was kind of like a. Like, really just funny. Yes, but... What was, what was I saying, though? Like... Um, about Bubble Bo for a second. You were saying about the churro guy. Yes, like... Like, when they were wigging out, like, how the fuck do you say you're gonna wig out that fucking hard, and then you're actually gonna wig out in person, in front of Bobo, and you do a little tiny, like, vibration thing, dance? Saying that's your wigging out thing? Like, what the fuck? Like, that show goes from, t like... That show just hits you with jokes so many times, you can't even understand what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I remember, like, watching that once, and there was, like, a joke about pigs flying, and then Dude, you literally no, see... You know what like, I no, you know, no, you know, listen, I, I know I'm spoiling a lot for people who didn't see this, but once you watch it, you, like, like me saying it right now had no effect on it. It shouldn't have not have an effect on you until you actually watch the show. Because what I'm telling you... It's different when watching it, like the like the third episode when they found this assassin guy who was trying to kill, who wanted to kill Bobo Bo because he killed, because he destroyed two head, two main headquarters, or whatever of the of the people that are apparently going around shaving people's heads off, or whatever. The assassin literally had a fucking thing on his head. I don't know if you remember this from the show though, Brandon, but he had a fucking like like on your pants on his head. And it, and it was like a fake duck at first, but it was an actual real duck. The fuck? I don't remember this. Okay, listen, listen, listen now, okay? So you find so you find that like the the main girl character named Beauty, right? Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, the girl she's with the pink yeah hair. she's walking around and she wake no she's having this dream because she thinks Bobo's like like lost and whatnot and she can't find him. And it's she's like, fine. Huh? She is fine. <laughs> yeah. But, um, she's having a dream, whatever, and she's, like, like, it's, like, one of those nightmare dreams, I'm, and then she wakes up, and she's in the middle of the forest, whatever, and then she finds, like, this duck that's just, just like, like, popping out of her, of, of the bottom of her, like, a tree, whatever, and thinking it's head out, and for the longest time, when you're watching it, you think it's a fake duck, do you find out that afterwards, when the, when the guy takes off his, his, um, what do you call it, his, um, Underpants that at the top of his head. It's an actual real duck. And then you find out that apparently, like, the duck starts talking, whatever, right? Yeah. But it's like, you know, like, if you have a headband and it's like, okay, I'm gonna, like, if you go, like, go to, like, I don't know, an amusement park or something like that, they give you a headband and it's like, has, like, a duck on it or something. Like, like, it would be, like, one of those things, like, oh, I'm pretending to be a duck, whatever, so there's a duck headband, whatever. Yeah. It's like that, but it's a pair of underpants with a duck's head on it. And literally, you find out that, like, Afterward, Bobo just takes off his fucking cap or the pop the top of his head. The duck's father is there, and you find out how the how the father like conceived him. And apparently, it was like the duck went to this like pond place, whatever, right? The length of a chin among stripes determines its authority in a group. If it spots a predator, it shrieks loudly to. And I have no idea to continue dialogue on the next page for the entries, so we'll never know the other half. Okay, so as I, I was know, saying. saying like, you know how, like, you know how, like, like, not what, no, you don't know, because you don't remember this, but, like, the, 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 the duck's father, right? Mm-hmm. Was, sh was ta showing, because that show had a lot of flashbacks and whatnot for, in the theater mode that they put on, so, they, he had a flashback of the, of the father telling him how he, how he conceived the, 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 the fake duck, which was a real duck anyway, and you will not understand this at all. You will not understand this. How do you think... How do you think ducks conceive? Well, I know that they have one really dirty hole that they shit out of, they pee out of, and they get fucked in it. Okay. Well... I learned that from Louis C.K. They all get fucked 
piss and shit out of that same hole. So okay. it must be a really well, think dirty of, well, hole. Think of, it, think of it this way. Think of it like humans. You just basically, you go and find, like, you're, we're, we're both guys. We go find a, a girl that we like. And then we we, we 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 go and kiss her and whatnot, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna go into the whole detail shit. Then you, then you find out, oh, you want to marry her, whatnot, and then you start fucking, and then you have a baby, right? Yeah. Okay. Now think of that. Now think of the the father duck. The father duck went to this like pond place in this like grassy area, and so all these like ducks hooking up, whatnot, and like kissing each other, and like okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, go that's a very helpful ability with catching Pokemon. Ooh. That way, when a Pokemon attacks my Pokemon directly, I can paralyze them and catch it easier. Oh, nice. But, as I was saying, so, the, yeah. the father duck goes to this, like, pond place, and he sees all these ducks hooking up, right? Yeah. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna go find me a, uh, I'm gonna find me a girl duck, I'm gonna make out with her, I'm gonna go, you know, do what I want, and, you know, I'm gonna have a baby. But guess what he finds? Oh, God, what? Literally. Her name was, uh, her name was Annette. Her, it, her name was Annette. He was a fucking pair of underpants. <laughs> Fucking took the underpants home, fucked it, and had and had and can see the half fucking a half duck, half underpants. Okay then. That's why the fucking guy was wearing the fucking underpants on his head, and with a duck on it. I mean, you know for a long time that the duck was real. Um. So hey, it's a chin monk. So like I'm saying, go and watch that show, because you will not understand anything I'm saying until you see it for yourself. I need to rewatch it. It's, I need, I've been rewatching a lot of shows, including the original Teen Titans, and I'm on season four. You still never beaten fucking. You still never got past season five and six. Right? You never got to season five and six or whatever. Of Teen Titans, I've seen a few episodes. Mainly the series finale is what Dan told me was the episode where Tara loses her memory. No. I didn't know it was a series finale. That's, but a, that's, that's, the, a, that, that's not the series finale. That's like the, with all the, he told me it's the last episode of season five, and that's the last season. No, that not right because the last episode because Tara losing her memory then no one knows what the hell is going on and then um I'm not gonna go into detail of that episode because you haven't seen it yet but she doesn't know what she's she doesn't know her, who she is she doesn't even think she's Tara she doesn't know anything and then exactly what I'm talking about yeah but that's not the last episode though. the last episode of the whole entire like the first episode of the last season is when they when I when Beast Boy has to go and, um... Beast Boy is just, like, chilling at, at, at the Titan's house. And then he gets a call from his former team, which is a dumbass retarded team in the first place. I don't know why, because they don't do things like Teen Titan does. They do they do things retardedly, where it's, like, if... Like, say, if, like, one of your team members, like, is, like, in like in really bad shape or, like, in trouble, and they... And you don't think you can save them, right? Yeah. They literally say, don't save them, just keep going on. You have to save yourself, not them. Go on without me. No, like, they don't say, no, no, it's, like, Beast Boy wanted to help his teammate that was, like, that was, like, getting in, that was in, like, a lot of trouble, but one of the head guys, whoever it was, was like, no, don't even go near him, don't even touch him, just keep going on. We don't have time for this. What an but, asshole. Yeah, I know. But, anyway, what, um, what it, what it is, though, like, you find the dude with the brain, I forget what he is, who, who he is. Shit, I don't remember either. But you know what I'm talking about, the, the robot dude with the brain? Yeah. Brother brother brain, I think it is. Hey, it's a burpee. About, but that whole but basically the whole season is, like I'll I'll give you a gist of it, is that basically you they have to go take take him down, right? Yeah. But they can't find out where he is because he keeps like he keeps like moving around all around the earth or whatever. And then at the very last episode of the whole series and the season is when they have to fight, like they keep like he goes so far into the into it, like every character you ever met that's a superhero or villain, he fucks over, and then you have to oh, they all come together and they have to fight him in one whole big battle. But even the villains fight Brother Blood. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Not Brother Blood, but that and the brain guy. Not Brother Blood. Brother Blood, the guy from um. Oh, okay, because I remember the Hive. You know the the guy who was in charge of the Hive. Yeah, Brother Blood, but I remember yeah. you tell me that, like, Brother Blood at one point attacks everyone from the earlier seasons, all the good guys. That what I meant the, the guy with the brain. Oh, okay, because so you told me Brother Blood. No, but it's it's, um, it's a really, like, at the end of the thing, it's like, all they, all they say is, like, they win. Like, they won the battle, and that's it. That's it, you're done. They don't tell you what happened after that, nothing. That's why, and, and Team Titan Go, when they made that fucking reboot episode, 
they said they had they never finished it with a with a conclusion or whatever with no con no conflicting resolution or nothing like that they just like ended it right there so we made this a little longer than intended for Pokemon Uranium because of half of the video being fucking dialogue. Well, guess what? Um, I so had to, I had to I'm, go out and tell you about that show. So we're going to end it after I capture this Burby. Listen, I'm gonna. Do you want to stay up just so I can show you that episode of Bobo? Yeah, we'll do that afterwards. Okay, because I'm guess I need to watch that again. Like again. after this uh, Pokemon. All right, I caught a Burby. All right, cool. Burby. No, it's not. You can. You know. You shouldn't. Can you nickname it? It defends itself by dazzling opponents by flashing its brightly colored plumage. They are known for their elaborate. Can you nickname Pokemon? Yeah. Name it Barbie. Oh God! All right. Bur Hold Burby. Burby instead of Barbie. No, I get it. No, you fucking nut. Why are you doing that? What happened? It almost went into another freaking app of uh, clicking into it when I tried to enter it in on my laptop of what to name them. Alright, so now we got three Pokemon. Yeah, when we continue this on the show again one day, we'll do it on this file because this is completely separate from my PC. Not that it really matters, but um, I have like a fresh start on this one compared to my PC where I felt like I'm like at the last gym in my uh, off show file. And I chose Rap Torch, which is the fire one. <laughs> Alright, so. Alatux is pretty cool. I like the design of him. Yeah. Alright, he's cute too, but he looks pretty tough. He's like, yeah, I'm cute, but don't fuck with me. Or rip your nuts off. So, before we actually end it, uh, I'm gonna reiterate here. I'm, since it's already it's so long already, this video. I'm not putting in the the trailer from Mother Four. Go look it up. You'll find it. It's not it's not the official trailer because they've changed a lot of shit from it, from what they've done. But go watch that trailer. Go find out where you can get um, another Re Metroid Two remake or A Two R AM Two R or yeah. or if you can get Pokemon Uranium, please grab them because you, you you'll be able to find Pokemon Uranium no problem. But like I said, it might get shut down anytime soon, so go and grab that. Um, and when Mother 4 comes out, again, go and get that the day one it comes out, because it's going to get shut down probably. And if you can find AM, AMR, AM, A, R, what is it? AM AMR2? Two, AM2R. AM2R, yeah. Go get that when you can find it. They're all going to be great games that you can play. And if you don't play many games, these are great game to play so go check them out and we will see you in the next episode peace and out in the next episode we're gonna finish up twilight princess hd so we're gonna be doing a big session for that yeah so we'll see you guys in the next session peace out hey guys if you like what you saw in that video please check out our latest series to the left i hope you enjoy it also if you want more hilarious videos Please check out our other series down below. I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can provide. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.